Hello friends. In this session, I am going to talk about having multiple main methods in a C-sharp class, program or an assembly. This is kind of tricky situation and uh, let's see how C-sharp program behaves if you tend to have more than one main methods. As you all know, a main is the entry point or the, the gate to your application where program execution begins from and many times it is said that um, there should be only one entry into the program and that's why many people think it is not possible to have more than one main methods into a program but let's discover a little bit more about it so here I'm having a C sharp program it's a console application and uh, I'm not going to need all these namespaces here so just for some cleaner point of view and having more spaces and as a best practice you should remove unused usings uh, before I do that let's uh, let's do something so I'm writing here console dot write line I am called from main of program.cs so this is the method which I'm going to uh, print on the console and then here I'm going to say console dot read line so this line will will make the program wait until you press the enter key from your keyboard so your program will halt on the console so this is normally what you have this is the flow of the application that you go into one main and you start coding all the things here or if you have let's say a multiple methods then you write those methods here underneath here so so this way you have all the methods but all these methods here will be called in the main itself so that's the trick that main is the main gate to the application or this is the place where your entire program flow or execution begins from now let's make sure that whatever we did is compiling and executing but before we do that let's do and follow some best practices so making sure that there are no extra lines except one single line space between two methods like this is one method and this is another method now to make sure that you have removed unused using statements on top right here there are a couple of ways either you can delete it by yourself because I know I'm not using any of those complicated things so I can remove all these by myself but instead of doing it by yourself I recommend using uh, Visual Studio's inbuilt technique because it has a back-to-back -back reference of all the functions and methods being called from any of the namespaces and libraries your program is referring to so you select all the using statements say right click go to organize usings and say remove unused usings so you click on it and as a result you see that only system namespace is left on top right here the reason to that is because you are using console and this console lives inside system that's why you have it now let's save it and build it one more time to make sure nothing is breaking now as you can see build succeeded successfully so I am closing it and I'm going to run it and this says I am called from main of program.cs so this is how your main function works so you have only one program.cs file and their main exists or lives and all the functions all the further classes which you can add in your application are being called from main of program.cs that is how you see standard industrial approach now to make it little further what we can do I can there are two ways to do it either I can add another class into my solution or else I can add a class within 
this namespace here so let's do the simple way so I'm going to add one more class right here and I'm going to call it program2 and let it be main here that's fine and let's call it program2.cs and now let's save it and now let's build it so here you see that uh, it says the issue you will see here is that compile with main to specify the type that contains the entry point so this thing is the issue and it also says that one particular exe has more than one entry point defined which means as I said at the beginning one assembly can have only one so what's wrong right now what is what is going to happen your program is fine the only issue is that it is not compiling well because you need to change some property here so let's say I go to project properties click on properties right here and define what do you want so if you see here when you define multiple mains what happened in your program is it lost the control that which main is being called and it set the startup object to nothing but if you come to project properties and you set it to program or program 2 so if you see here automatically it picked program 2 as well so here I say program I save it I build it and now I say start so this is saying I am called from main of program.cs if I want to execute it from program 2 you go to startup object set it to program 2 save it build it and run it and now it is saying I am called from main of program 2.cs in real world scenarios it is very hard to say that what could be a real world situation where you may need to do this thing uh, this is more like a tricky traditional question asked to many people in interviews and even basically it helps you to to think and overcome with known programming language barriers like can I have more than one main and all these similar kind of you know tricky questions where you really challenge the limits or traditional programming techniques which many people keep following year after year now one real world example or scenario which I can think of is let's say a uh, one per you are writing one application uh, for you know let's say two different countries okay um, and those two countries want two different messages or they want to greet people in a different way uh, based on some certain maybe IP addresses or something that can be done with if else also but let's say there are uh, another scenario where you want to give user complete two different exes uh, which has a completely different way of execution executing program now in that case you can build two different exes one by using program and second by using program 2.cs so this could be a situation and let me also tell you how would you do that real quick so to do that it's very simple you go to properties let's say program save it and uh, run it to make sure it is picking program so this is saying program.cs and what I do once this is built you go to this folder and you open the folder in file explorer here in bin debug you will see console application.exe you change it to program now go back to your Visual Studio here now change the property back to program 2 remember we need to produce two different exes and now test it one more time it is showing program 2 in this so it says I am called from main of program 2.cs and now the exe which you have in your folder this exe is actually the execution of program 2 now you have two different exes produced from one single 
application so you do not need to maintain various versions of application to build two different route of program execution beginning for some scenario you might have so if I run program.exe it says I'm called from main of program.cs if I run this exe it says I am run from program2.cs so this is how both the exes can be shown running from two different exes individually but these two exes are produced uh, sequentially from one single project source so to summarize it is very much possible you can have more than one main methods but at a given point of time you need to define which main method you want to use and that's why it gives an error that more than one entry points has been defined which was shown when you were compiling it so the key is that you go to your project properties and pick the startup object from there which will list down all the classes either it could be a virtual class uh, virtual class means class code living in your physical program.cs file or it could be like program1.cs program2.cs program3.cs and each file separately can have individual main method in it so whatever situation you have uh, make sure you pick one of the main method and then you are good to go so this is how we do um, how we handle the situation of dealing with multiple main methods and it is very much possible uh, thank you very much for watching and I appreciate it